श्रीनगर की खसूसी टाटा अदालत ने जम्मू कश्मीर लिबरेशन फ्रंट और हुरियत के दस रहनुमाओं की जमानत की दरखास्त मुस्तरद कर दी है जिन्हें पाकिस्तान में हैंडलर्स की हिदायत पर काम करने के इल्जाम में यूएपीए के तहत गिरफ्तार कर मुकदमा दर्ज किया गया है इन लोगों पर इल्जाम है कि ये बैन की गई तंजीमों को दोबारा जिंदा करने की मनसूबाबंदी कर रहे थे भारत ने अकौम मुतहद में एक बार फिर पाकिस्तान पर तनकीद की अकौम मुतहदा की जनरल असम्बली के अठहत्तरवें इजलास के दौरान मुल्क की फर्स्ट सेक्रेटरी पी गहलोत ने कहा कि पाकिस्तान आदतन मुजरम बन चुका है इसका मकसद भारत के खिलाफ झूठा प्रोपागेंडा फैलाना बन गया है पाकिस्तान की जानब से कश्मीर का मसला अकौम मुतहदा में उठाने पर पी गहलोत ने कहा कि पाकिस्तान बेबुनियाद इल्जाम लगाने के बजाय अपना घर ठीक करे ritual offender when it comes to misusing this august forum to peddle baseless and malicious propaganda against india member states of the united nations and other multilateral organizations are well aware that pakistan does so to deflect the international community's attention away from its own abysmal record on human rights we reiterate that the union territories of jammu and kashmir and ladakh are an integral part of india matters pertaining to the uts of jnk and ladakh are purely internal to india pakistan has no locus standi to comment on our domestic matters as a country with one of the world's worst human rights records particularly when it comes to minority and women's rights pakistan would do well to put its own house in order before venturing to point a finger at the world's largest democracy A glaring example of the systemic violence against minorities in Pakistan was the large scale brutality perpetrated against the minority Christian community in Jaranwala in Pakistan's Faisalabad district in August 2023 where a total of 19 churches were gutted and 89 Christian houses were burnt down. Similar treatment has been meted out to the Ahmadiyyas whose places of worship have been demolished. The condition of women belonging to minority communities in Pakistan, notably Hindus, Sikhs and Christians, remains deplorable. According to a recent report published by Pakistan's own Human Rights Commission, an estimated 1000 women from minority communities are subjected to abduction and forced conversion and marriage in Pakistan every year. Pakistan has been the home and patron to the largest number of internationally proscribed terrorist entities and individuals in the world. Instead of engaging in technical sophistry, we call upon Pakistan to take credible and verifiable action against the perpetrators of the Mumbai terror attacks whose victims await justice even after 15 years. In order for there to be peace in South Asia, the actions that Pakistan needs to take are threefold. First, stop cross-border terrorism and shut down its infrastructure of terrorism immediately. Second, vacate Indian territories under its illegal and forcible occupation.